show because what happened is the circuit is down. Train 252, the new speed command is 252 for Mr. Blocks and Medical Center. Really look out for ATC personnel. Copy. Okay. Train 252, track one approaching Medical Center, the new speed command is for Mr. Block, platform one Medical Center. 252, copy. Jason, two Medical Center, platform one, look out for ATC. ATC to train 21286, train moving track 1 into Mount Center. Train 21286. What you just heard was an actual conversation between a train controller and the train operator of a train getting ready to go through a track circuit which was turned off. The train controller gave the operator a permissive block. This means the track is clear, in this case to Medical Center, and the operator has permission to move through the area with no speed commands. You were watching exactly what one of Metro's train controllers see when a train is operating through a circuit that has been turned off. In the video, each segment of the dashed line equals one track circuit. The bad circuit is shown in red, and the train is shown as a large arrow with the train number inside. Watch the arrow as it travels through the red segment. At no time does the controller lose sight of the train. Since the June 22nd accident, we have been conducting a deeper analysis and more rigorous maintenance process for reviewing track circuits in our rail system. This is part one of the steps we're taking to meet the NTSB's recommendation to develop a real-time monitoring system of the train control system. This is the closest to real-time information that we are able to generate at this time until one can be invented. Within the past couple of weeks, we began running a computerized report twice a day to take a closer look at track circuitry. We now run the test after each rush hour. We had been doing that test once a month, so basically we went from once every 30 days to 14 times a week or 56 times a month. As part of this more rigorous review, we have found track circuits where there are anomalies. It is like when a doctor does an EKG on your heart. If there's a blip in the data, it doesn't mean you're having a heart attack, but the doctor may want to conduct more tests. The process we have set up now is this. Engineers review computerized reports twice a day. If they see an anomaly, they call our operations control center and request an absolute block. This is when one train instead of two or three is allowed to move through a section of track. An absolute block remains until a crew can get to the work area and analyze the circuit. It may be a quick fix, or it may require more work. If that's the case, then trains will move through the area at restricted speeds. Sometimes they may turn track circuits off. Turning these circuits off increases the safety and protection that is afforded to our customers. The train passing through this circuit is still visible by the controllers, however, its representation will change. They, however, maintain control via radio contact as the train passes through the circuit, which is only 400 to 1,000 feet long.